All right, real quick before the video gets started, merch is available, first link down below. We got shirts, longer sleeve shirts, hoodies, stickers. Go check it out, a few different designs, awesome. And number two, I'm still waiting on parts and stuff to show up for Goldie Hawn, so this is gonna be kind of like a little filler video, something I've been curious about doing for a little bit. So don't feel obligated to watch the whole thing. It's okay if you skip it, but you're dead to me. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's totally okay, but seriously, you're dead to me. Anyway, like I said, this is something that I've been curious about doing for a little bit. Um, I've done things similar, but not this exact thing. Once you see, it'll kind of make sense, or you'll still be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But when I got the Suburban, it had like the perfect example of to show you guys what not to do um, because it's just, it's really lame and it's played out. At least this is just my opinion. Uh, there's just better ways to do it that I hope I can achieve in this video. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Both valve covers and the engine cover were completely painted red. Someone just sprayed the entire thing, didn't mask anything off, just completely sprayed them red. And when you first think about it, you're like, you know, that might not be too bad. Like, literally, someone commented on one of the Suburban videos saying, like, I thought about painting my engine cover and valve covers red, but now that I see it, I'm glad I didn't. That's exactly what I'm talking about here. So, I mean, I get what they were going for. You're kind of trying to tie a theme into the engine bay that you might have going through the rest of the vehicle. But to me, at least, this just isn't the way to do it. Now, what I just so happen to have here is the engine cover for Goldie Hawn. Now what I'm hoping to achieve here is still going to be really, really, really simple to do, but it'll take a little bit more time and a touch more patience. Now here's kind of what I have in mind. Now if you saw the last video, I cleaned up the intake, painted it black, and I think it looks pretty good, except for on top, which is where all the wiring and sensors and like throttle cable and everything go, which is exactly what this is meant to hide. Now what I'm thinking, hesitantly, is spraying the entire thing black and then where it says Vortec and these seven ribs here paint those the same gold as the body color or pewter if we're getting specific but it's Goldie Hawn you know now what I'm thinking is it'll still have that little bit of color that ties it in with everything else really nice but it won't be over the top and flamboyant like this kind of was which I am going to redo eventually so now that I kind of explained myself and we got a little bit of a plan we can get started in the first step is cleaning this thing up because it it's pretty dirty so everything we're gonna need to do this engine cover paint rag soapy water All right, now that we got it all wet and slippery, I'm gonna go hose it off. See if it needs any more scrubbing. Uh, I think it's actually gonna be pretty good so we can move on to the next step. It actually did clean up really well. I mean, it's still wet, so it's gonna look a little shiny, but I'm not seeing any grease or anything like that anymore. All right, so uh, this part's a little awkward. I think all of my body color touch-up paint is over at the garage, so hold that thought. All right, we got the paint. However, this is the part of the program where I start to kind of question myself, question the process, which in this case is clearly illustrated by this guy right here. Because I was planning on masking everything off and spraying the gold. However, now I'm kind of considering actually like spraying a puddle of this onto like a piece of paper or something and then brushing it on. That felt weird. I'm right-handed. Brushing it on. So I think I'm going to go that route, which means we can spray some of the black first. Which means we can move on to the stool that I paint things on, which I like to call... The stool that I paint things on, plus cat. Now I just want to go on record saying that you should never paint your basement. It's a very bad idea that a lot of fumes can get in there. However, I have a safety cat, so I'm all good. If you don't have a safety cat, don't do it. Actually, actually my, uh, my safety cat just ran away. I think I'm still going to paint though. Ran 
out of paint. Man, I really thought that there was enough in the can to at least do one coat on here. Ah, uh, man, I might have just screwed this whole thing up. I mean, this side looks pretty all right. Let's see if I can... I'll just touch it where I didn't even get to paint it. Nope, that looks even worse in the light. All right, this was a mistake. I was on the fence on whether or not I even wanted to paint the black, but I figured, eh, painted the intake black, might as well paint the engine cover black. So luckily back here where I wasn't really able to get anything on it, that'll be pretty much covered by the firewall anyway. At this side, I think once it dries, it'll be fine. However, <laughs> however, this side is a disaster. Like it was doing fine until it decided to just shit right here and right here and then just all over the, all over where it says Bortec. So yeah, this side, this side sucks. Um, hmm. I'm I'm honestly really tempted to I think I've got yeah I've got just some paint thinner and just wipe it all back off which I might actually do God this video went downhill so quickly you know what it's because the safety cat left I should have listened to the safety cat damn it anyway I think I was able to fix it it's still not great but it's not nearly as bad as it was I was able to uh, I was able to take some paint thinner and get rid of some of the runs, but it's not horrible. We should be able to keep moving on, though. All right, well, since all the black paint's gone, I'm going to use the cap from that can as a little paint container. So I'm going to try to get it right in there and just spray a little pool in there. And then I can just dip the brush in there, paint where I needed, and we should be good to go. Hopefully. We'll see if this works. <laughs> I'll give you guys a close-up that is so wild that it like completely dissolved the black paint that was on there that is so weird and honestly I kind of like that I might leave that I'm gonna let this trash dry for a little bit. We'll come back and check on it in an hour or two and see how it looks. It's not gonna look any better. <laughs> see ya. All right, it's a couple hours later. It dried, I touched up a few spots, but now you guys can take a look and see how it's turning out. Now keep in mind, I have zero artistic talent, like none. But I mean, I think it's, it's turning out pretty good. Uh, it still obviously needs a few touch-ups here and there, but I think for the most part, compared to compared to that, I mean, honestly, if if I had planned ahead and like expected to do it this way, it could have been half hour of work, hour at the most. And I think it's turned out really, really well. I mean, it's definitely not perfect. I don't want to like play it off like it turned out great. But I mean, considering, again, like the alternative here where people just spray the whole thing, I think this is a really good alternative. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happily content with it is what I should say. Uh, but I think it's turned out pretty good. Uh, 
So I think that's going to do it for today's video. I, like I said at the beginning, it was just going to be kind of like a little bullshit one. I've been curious about doing something with the engine cover for a while. And I figured since I had nothing else really going on, might as well make a video out of it. Maybe someone will find it interesting. <laughs> Let's see, this video will go up for Wednesday, which is my tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday morning, I'm going to run over to Line to Line, pick up the headers. They are done. Sean sent me a picture of them. They look freaking awesome, so I cannot wait. So I'm going to run and get those, get back, get them thrown on the truck, which means we should have a running and driving Goldie Hawn again by the end of, I think, Friday's video. So as long as everything stays the course, we should be good to go. Goldie Hawn will be back on the road. Um, there are a few other things I want to do to it over the winter. It needs a different converter. That stock, uh, that stock 1200 stall converter is just not doing it any favors. I want to get different traction bars. I'm probably going to go with the speed engineering ones. And then really after those two things, the final like big piece is wheels and tires. Uh, I like the wheels that are on it, but I need different tires. So I'm going to eventually do a 15 inch conversion on the rear because like 15 inch drag radials and stuff, like the same ones that are on Jack Black are I think like 400 bucks for the set, which is much more reasonable. <laughs> And speaking of Jack Black, once Goldie Hawn's back on the road, we'll probably move on to him next, get the engine pulled out of that, tear it down, see what's going on with it, and then come up with hopefully a final definite plan on what we're going to do with that. Like I said a few videos back, I want my dad to drive that truck next year when we go to the track, so I'm going to kind of let him like direct where the build goes, what engine and stuff we're going to go with, and he wants to stick with something that he's more familiar with, which for him would be an old school small block Chevy, which, I mean, it really doesn't matter to me what engine goes in there, whether it's small block, big block, LS. You know, honestly, if I knew shit about them, I'd be fine with like a 4G63 or something in there, just completely blow everybody's minds. I really don't care. Uh, the only reason really I like LSs, they're simple, they're cheap, they make good power. And I think that's kind of the reason that most people like LSs. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble again. Got a tendency to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you next time.